pagkatapos ko. <laughs> Totoo po yung sinabi niya, magkaklase kami, na if you know, if you want to know secrets about him, just approach me after the service and I will tell you a lot of things about him. Of course, good things. Nakita ko rin yung aking dalawang estudyante sa Wesley Divinity School. Nakita ko silang muli. No? Si Pastor uh, Analisa, si Pastor Jojo. Kala ko nga si Pastor Jojo tatakbong congressman eh. Pero sa seminaryo, ganyan na talaga yan eh. Kasi sa seminaryo, bawal ang naka-t-shirt. Bawal ang uh, nakapolo. Kailangan nakasuot ka ng maayos. Nakakurbata, nakalong sleeve, nakabarong nakasapatos na maganda. Nakita ko rin yung aking kaibigan na si Pastor Ador. Sabi ko, pastor na pastor ka talaga. And I saw, of course, uh, a um, high esteem pastor of the church, which I regarded one of the best. Si Pastor uh, Sulabo. Pastor, kita po tayo ulit. <clears throat> Alam mo ninyo, hindi pa naghahati ang Philippines Annual Conference. Kasakasama ko na po siya. At kanina binagit nga si D.S. Mabuti. D.S., magandang umaga po. Buti po nagpastor si D.S. Mabuti. Mabuti talaga. Kaibigan ko po ang D.S. na yan. Kung meron po kayong dalang Biblia, yung dala po ninyo, ano po? Dala ninyo. Buksan po ninyo. O sige, kunin na ninyo, hindi nyo dala. I'm reading from the letter of Paul, the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 1, beginning from verse 1 to verse 3, rather, and 4. Please read with me. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more. And the love every one of you has for each other is increasing. Therefore, among God's churches, we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials you are enduring. Now, this is the word of the Lord. Everybody say, Amen. Palakpakan nga po natin ang Diyos ang buhay. The text this morning provides us how Paul appreciated the kind of faith that the Salonians were showing and the love they were expressing. Kaya sabi po ni, ni Paul, I thank God. Papasalamat ako sa Diyos. In the same way you are thanking God today because you're celebrating your uh, 40, ano nakalagay doon? That's 49th uh, founding anniversary and your 98th uh, founding anniversary as Methodists in this area. Paul was so thankful because of the great accomplishments the saints have shown in their lives. And that the Thessalonians had demonstrated great growth in their faith and in love. Kasarap magpasalamat. Dahil si Pablo nakita niya ang mga taga Thessalonica, ang kanila pong pananampalataya ay lumalago at ang pag-ibig po nila ay naging malalim. Ako'y naniniwala na yun hong pananampalataya ay mahalaga sa pagpapalaganap ng salita ng Diyos. I still maintain that faith gives impetus to discipleship. Now, if you have this team, make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Therefore, faith should become the very impetus of this direction. If you are serious about this, 
then you should have you should give importance to your faith because faith is essential church in soul winning faith is the grand mover in church growth and spirituality as we keep on saying is all about faith now let me ask this question to you bluntly directly to you to all of you who are here how is your faith today as Methodists as people called Methodists how is your faith today would I thank God because your faith is growing like what Paul did in our text? Can we say right now that we are thankful because you are growing in your faith? Is there something that we should be happy about today? Is there something that you would like to say in terms of your faith journey now church there is a need to evaluate re-evaluate our faith if we want to make disciples of the lord jesus and all the methodists in this country should re-evaluate the kind of faith they have We must have an executive checkup of our faith today. I will tell you, Methodists in this place, that we are not increasing in number. We are losing members. I keep on telling people, especially our church, we are increasing our conferences. We are increasing our local churches, but we are decreasing our membership. Very ironic. The logic should be when you are increasing the our conferences, you are increasing our local churches, therefore our membership should increase as well. But it's the other way around. I'm not happy. I don't know if you're happy about that. But I'm not. That is the reason why I have that burden. To be in that leadership. To bring about change in our church. The church is wounded. The church is hurt. And we need you. We need each other to be able to increase the awareness of our people to become spiritually filled, not structurally filled, but spiritually filled. Bakit po kailangan pag-usapan natin ng pananampalataya kung gusto natin pong maging mga alagad ng Diyos? Alam niyo po, sabi sa Matthew chapter 24 verse 10, sa mga huling mga panahon, maraming tatalikod sa kanilang pananampalataya. Now, take note of this. Jesus was then talking of the end of times. And one of the signs that the world is about to end is when people will turn away from their faith. Lalayo sila sa kanilang pananampalataya. At dahil binibigyan ko ng pansin ang pananampalatayang ito, dahil ito nakita ni Paul sa mga taga-Tesalonica, ah, lumalaki ang inyong pananampalataya. It's growing. It's growing. Not just growing, but the text says it's growing more and more. Do we have the same kind of faith? Or we just have just a faith? Pero kahit mga kapatid sabihin mo may pananampalataya ka and definitely all of us will say may pananampalataya ako. 
But let me ask that question, anong klaseng pananampalataya? Mayroon po tayo. You know, church, God has a standard of faith. Mayroon pong standard ng Diyos pagdating sa pananampalataya. At yun po ang hinahanap ng Diyos sa kanyang mga tinawag at mga anak. That kind of standard. Not your standard, not my standard, but it is the standard of God. Kung minsan ipagpipilitan natin, ito yung standard ng pananampalataya ko. I come to church late. That's the standard of my faith. Nagnitian kayo ha. Huwag kayo magagalit sa akin mga kapatid. I do not want to compromise what the Lord wants you to know and understand. And I'm very bold enough to tell you what's going on. Now, if you're telling you have your faith, what kind of faith? Alam nyo yan ang dahilan bakit po ang iglesia po natin is going down the drain. It is because our faith is already a suspect. Why is it that a lot of fellowships in Metro Manila and elsewhere are growing? Now, I have shared this last time. The GCF, for example, alam ba ninyo yung GCF? Sino hong mga kakilala nyo na nasa GCF na? I have seen a lot of of Methodists in Greenhills Christian Fellowship. CCF, for instance. Another one is Victory. Ang CCF ngayon, they are constructing a huge building down um, San Miguel uh, Avenue. Ortigas going to Tendesitas. Alam ba nyo, isa sa mga na-convert nila, anak ni Henry C. Yung babae. And the owner of Holzing Cement was converted as well. And I learned that the owner of Holcim Cement promised and made a covenant na yun hong mga simentong gagamitin doon, sasagutin po niya. GCF, for example, dinadala ko yung mga miyembro ko doon eh, just to be able to see what's going on in the church. Yang ilang hong pastor doon, kaibigan po natin, victories, some of the pastors, there's are friends of mine. Alam ba ninyo ang income ng uh, GCF? One month, almost 7 million. Just one church. Sasabihin nyo mayayaman sila. Yun ang problema eh. 